how to make rope when your shoelaces are gone, every wire is stripped, and you need to tie something that isn't your own intestines together. Your shelter is a tarp flapping in the toxic wind. Your splint is two sticks held together with wishful thinking. Your last piece of twine just disintegrated into dust. You are, functionally, falling apart. Your life is literally hanging by a thread you don't have. Subscribe now, and I'll show you how to forge that thread from weeds before the wind takes you with it. Let's begin. Find a tall, dead, fibrous plant. Stinging nettle, dogbane, milkweed. If it looks stringy, it's probably useful. Crack the woody stalk all the way down. Now carefully peel the outer bark away. Inside, you'll find the plant's vascular system. Long, tough fibers. This is your raw material. Scrape away any leftover woody bit. Now for the science. Take a small bundle of these fibers and twist them clockwise until the whole thing kinks up and folds on itself. You now have two strands. The trick is the reverse wrap. Twist the two strands away from you clockwise, but wrap them over each other towards you counterclockwise. This tension is physics in action. The opposing forces lock the fibers together, creating a cord that is stronger than its individual parts. Keep adding in new fibers as you go, overlapping them with the old ones. The friction holds them in place. Congratulations, you've made a crude but effective rope from a dead weed. Now you can tie down your shelter, set a snare, or finally hang that annoying neighbor who keeps stealing your rainwater.